Hi everyone, are you having some problems with students asking to use the restroom during your instructional time? If so, here are some quick tips on how to help alleviate that issue and prompt students to use the restroom during their breaks. First thing is you want to make sure that you have a bathroom sign in and out sheet somewhere near your door. Have hand sanitizer and clean pens or pencils available for students to use. This is a great way to keep track of which students leave, what time, how long they're gone. And also you can pick up on any patterns if the same student continues to use the restroom several times in a week. If you're tech savvy, you could always create a Google form and then create a QR code for students to check in and out of the bathroom. So this, this technology version is the same as the paper copy. If, you're, if you have an available class iPad, students can just scan it, fill out the form, and then you have everything electronic um, saved on your computer. So you can also pick up on any patterns maybe health concerns, or perhaps if the same student asks to use the restroom every day during math, that also tells you some information. You may want to think about using bathroom passes. You can give students a certain number of bathroom passes uh, per week, per day, per month, per semester, um, whatever it is you feel is best, and, and students can use these bathroom passes to go to the restroom during class. Uh, some way to encourage them to not use them during class is by offering them either class points, dojo points, some type of a prize, something positive, some type of reward for any leftover bathroom passes that they can turn in. Um, this may really encourage students to use the restroom during their breaks because they want this reward if they don't use them. But if they need to go during class, they have the option to do that by using bathroom passes. For our middle school teachers, some type of a silly bathroom hall pass that's maybe a little awkward to carry or um, a little silly may be the answer. And this may work in certain classes just depending on the rapport you have with students and um, if you have that relationship where if they took this out, it wouldn't be embarrassing for them, but it may detour them from having to go to the bathroom during class because they don't want to take this big thing with them. <clears throat> for our primary teachers, in the beginning of the year, and even now, if it's still an issue, at the beginning of recess, you may want to walk them to the bathroom in a line and then release them to recess or lunch recess whatever it is by the restroom and give them that verbal reminder we're here right now by the restroom if you need to go to the bathroom do it now and then you can go out and play this helps kids see that okay i'm right here i know i have to go and i want to play so if i hurry up and use the restroom right now because my teacher brought me here then i can go out and play Again, for our primary teachers, if you want to come up with some little catchy tune that you can sing with your younger students to remind them to use the bathroom when they go out to recess. So it's you can create a little mantra or a chant and students can sing it. And that's just a mental reminder to use the restroom. You can do this with middle school students, too. I just don't know how excited your students will be to sing a little tune about using the restroom. For those of you that are using sign language or maybe are thinking about using sign language, this is the sign for using the bathroom. It is respectful. The teacher can see it with using without the students using their voice, and the teacher doesn't need to use their voice either. So if you see a student give this sign, um, the teacher can then excuse the student or give a nod that they can go, and then they can go use the sign-out sheet and go take care of business. Um, it, it is a safe way for students to ask to use the restroom. Sometimes it's embarrassing. They don't want to ask. They don't want to stop instruction. They don't want all the attention on them. So if they do this, it's a really um, effective way to allow students to go to the bathroom. Now, something paired with this, or if you're not using sign language and you just have students asking to use the restroom, you can ask them, can you wait? I'm going over something really important right now. And asking them if they can wait. They're either going to give you a yes or a no. If they give you a no, then of course let them go to the restroom. But if they give you a yes, you can always check back in with them. Maybe after that five minutes, you can say so-and-so. Do you still need to use the restroom? Thank you for waiting. You can go now. 
a lot of times if you ask students this question, can you wait, um, they'll be truthful. And it's a way to make sure they don't miss that really important instruction for those few minutes and then come back to them and check to see if they need to go. Um, make sure you're only letting one student at a time go to the restroom. Um, we know that there are some issues going on right now in middle schools, especially about kids um, destroying restrooms and taking property from teachers' classrooms and meeting in the restrooms. So one at a time, you may want to have a rule that you can't go to the restroom 15 minutes after lunch or after recess or after, after passing period because you just had that opportunity. Um, you can always have a private side conversation with students if they give you a hard time about the rules, especially with all the stuff going on right now. Um, normally, if you treat them with respect and have that conversation, you know, I know you really have to go to the restroom. Is this something you can wait to do? Um, I really want you here to listen to this. Is, can, do you think you can wait a little bit and explain, like, these are our school rules. You know things are going on. Um, they respond to that really well when you uh, treat them like like people and explain what's happening and why these rules are the rules. Now, of course, you don't have time to have that conversation all the time, but for those students that it comes up like this, you can take a few seconds to talk with them. Um, if you notice that a student is going to the restroom often, you need to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with that student, a private conversation, so they don't feel awkward. Ask them if there's a reason, um, if they're having any health issues, um, if they're asking to go to the restroom because they don't like a particular subject, or maybe they feel uncomfortable going at recess for some reason. So have that conversation. Um, it'll give you some information on what's going on with that student. And if you feel like it's a health issue, please go speak to the school nurse so you can figure out what to do. And if this is not going to solve it, you may need to call home and just say, hey, I've noticed so-and-so has asked to use the restroom, you know, seven times this week. I wanted to know if there's anything going on at home that I could be aware of or she or he is having any health issues. So make sure to keep the parents in on the loop for this because what happens in the classroom is really important and everybody needs to be on the same page. Thank you so much for listening to these uh, student bathroom tips and I wish you good luck in keeping your kids in class learning and hopefully bathroom disruptions will be limited. Thanks for watching this episode of the Curriculum Cafe. Click like and subscribe to join the cafe for more classroom tips from the TOA team.